Hi, I'm Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at question 1b part 2 for the 2017 probability level 2 exam. So here is some information. So this is now looking at whether or not somebody is obese versus not obese and comparing whether they are smokers or non-smokers. Okay, so we've been told it's claimed that young adult smokers are more at risk of being obese than young adult non-smokers. Okay, and so we need to investigate this. So it doesn't talk about um, how many times more likely they are. Um, so in this case I'm going to go with finding an absolute risk. So what I want is I want to find the probability of, and it talks about the smokers are more at risk of being obese. So I want to find what's the chance of being obese if you're a smoker and I want to compare that to the chance of being obese if you're a non-smoker. So I want the chance of being obese given that you are a smoker and the chance of being obese given that you are a non-smoker. So those are the two probabilities I want to find. So we have obese, no, smoking people. We're going to start with the smokers. So there are, in this survey, 420 smokers. And from those 420, there are 103 of them that are obese. So my chance of being obese, given that I'm a smoker, is 103 out of 420. Now I'm going to convert this to a decimal just to make it easier to compare because that's what I'll need to do next. So that will give me a value of 0 0.2452. Now let's find the next probability. So this is the chance of being obese if I'm a non-smoker. So I'm going to look at my non-smokers. So there are 2,080 non-smokers and there are 404 of those that are obese. So the chance of being obese, given that you're a non-smoker, is 404 out of 2,080. I'm going to convert that to a decimal at 0 0.1242. Now if you got either of those values, then that will get you a U. So now I need to answer the question. So the questions are, does, do the results of the survey support the claim? So the, the claim is that smokers are more at risk of being obese. So in this case, our smokers, there's a 24% chance that our smoker will be obese versus a 19% chance that our non-smokers will be obese. So does that match the claim? Yes, it does match the claim. Okay, so I'm that's what I want to state next. So I'm going to say the probability of this, so for smokers being obese, that probability is more than the probability of being obese for our non-smokers. Okay, therefore the claim is justified. And if we see on our marking schedule there, if we get to a clear conclusion using correct risks, then that gets you through to your R. Then you can tally up for the question. So if overall, through the whole of question 1, 1 U gets you N2, 2 U's A3, 3 U's A4, 1 R M5, 2 R's M6, 1 T E7 and 2 T's E8. So add that all up and give yourself a mark for this question.